Morning folks and welcome back. I'm out today with Maggie to try out a new tent. This is the latest in the lineup of hot tents from One Tigress, the Rock Fortress. It's a big uh, four to six person tent. I've also brought my uh, Smoky Hut tent with me. It's a much smaller, compact, uh, lightweight uh, hot tent. Um, so I can set them both up side by side and make a bit of a comparison. So like a lot of hot tents on the market, this is a pyramid shaped tent. It has 10 sides and the idea is that you can use a, a wood burning tent heater inside the tent with you to warm it up. It's a real game changer in winter, especially if you live in, in the colder climates. You light a fire in the stove, which is a sealed wood burner, and all the smoke goes up through a flue and out through the top of the tent through a, a fireproof stove jack. Um, obviously it warms the tent up, and being a small space, it warms it up really efficiently, um, and you can cook on the stove as well. So it's, it's really great for the winter time. Um, this tent has two doors. I really like that because I found where I live in the UK, it, it rarely gets cold enough. <laughs> and uh, you know, you light a fire inside a tent and it, and it gets uh, unbearably hot actually. So having uh, two doors means that you can open up both of those doors and get some, some draft through. And yes, it's nice and warm in the tent, but you can regulate it a bit more by um, you know, opening the doors or, or closing them up a little bit and just um, keeping that temperature a bit more bearable inside. Now this is obviously the first time I've put this tent up. So this isn't a review in any way. I don't personally think you can do a review without having used something for a period of time so you can see how it performs in different conditions. Um, but first impressions are good, the build quality is, is good. The zips seem to be good quality, they're those anti-snag uh, weatherproof zips so there's no storm flap as such, it just uh, you know the zip kind of seals on itself as you, as you close it up and the zip opens from the top as well as from the bottom so you can get a bit more ventilation. There are also two vents at the top of the tent which you can keep open using the spreader bar, which kind of Velcro's in place, keeps them open. And they've also included snow skirts around the bottom of the tent, so you can pile snow on those in the winter to keep out drafts and keep it warmer in there if you're camping in sub-zero conditions. Despite its size, this tent's easy to put up by yourself. Um, just peg out the two uh, pegging points either side of one door, put the pole in, stretch out the other two pegging points either side of the second door, and that kind of keeps it upright and then you can just peg the others out, it's pretty straightforward. There are 10 main pegging points around the bottom edge of the tent and they have webbing adjusters on them so you can adjust the tension on the tent. And there are 10 guy lines which attach to the tent in two places and when you peg those out that really holds the tent in shape and makes it very stable. The beauty about this sort of shape of tent being a pyramid, it doesn't matter which way the, the wind is blowing, you haven't got one side which is a weakness, you know it's the same shape all the way around. Um, also having two doors, if you uh, go to bed and the wind is blowing in one direction, you know, and you wake up in the morning and it's switched around You can just use the other door and you're still protected from that from that wind The seams are all fully taped and it's reinforced up in the peak area So you're not going to have any problems with water coming in It's got a sectional oversized aluminium pole with those spring clips to hold the sections in place and the bottom section is adjustable. So if your pole starts to sink into soft ground or if you're on uneven ground, you can adjust it. You put the pole bag over the top of the pole as you put it into the tent and it just gives a little bit more protection. It's already reinforced at the top, but it's just you know belt and braces to make sure that doesn't uh, damage the top of the tent. Um, the other bonus is that the pole bag has um, kind of molly webbing on it so that you can use it to attach things and hang things from the, from the pole of your tent.
Well, it's toasty and warm in that tent now with the wood burner lit. A little bit too warm for Maggie. She, um, she put up with it for a bit, lying on her bed by the door there, but she's gone off to find somewhere cooler to lie down. Um, I'm gonna set the, the other tent up now, the, the Smoky Hut. I, I did a review video of this tent um, a couple of years ago. It's a brilliant little backpacking tent, um, super light. Um, but I want to put it up just so you can get a, a kind of size comparison, really. You know, there's, there's going to be a massive difference between the two. This is, this is a big family tent, really, you know, or if there's a few of you. Um, or you've got lots of gear or you're out for a long period of time, you know. There's loads of room. Um, the Smoky Hut is more of a, a, a super lightweight backpacking hot tent, um, especially if you have a, a lightweight titanium stove in there. Yeah, so I'll get this set up and we'll have a look at the, uh, the difference between them. I'm not going to go into the full spec of the Smoky Hut tent, um, I just wanted to put it up as a comparison and you can see straight away there's a massive difference in size. The Smoky Hut's 1.6 metres tall whereas the uh, Rock Fortress over there is 2.4 so you can actually stand up in it. It's, it's a big tent, lots of room for extended trips or, or if there are several several of you, whereas the Smoky Hut's a, a backpacking tent for, for one to two people really. Ow. <laughs> oh. The Rock Fortress weighs in at 4.2 kilograms which is about 9 pounds versus uh, 1200 grams for the for the smoky hut but um, if you want something bigger and a bit more robust um, that's going to last you all all winter for a for a long extended trip if you're hunting or something like that then um, that rock fortress is a is a really good solid tent it's just started to rain so we've ducked inside and it'll be a good test for the waterproofness of this tent although i have no doubts this would withstand the heaviest of uh, downpours that's for sure um while the uh wood burner is is hot i'm going to make the most of it and cook maggie maggie and i up something to eat i bought some nice sausages with us so we're going to cook those up um having the wood burner is so convenient being able to cook on it it's not as fast as cooking over over a fire or, a, or you know on a normal conventional stove with flame um but you know we're not in any rush and um you know during those long winter nights you can just sit and you can cook slowly and um you know, use that fuel twice. Wants to heat you up and wants to, to cook. Makes sense. Yep, doesn't get much better than this on a dreary, damp October day. It's not very nice out there. The rain has eased off a little bit just now, but I think there's gonna be more coming shortly. But in here, it's warm and cozy and dry and very nice. And the smell of sausages cooking just adds to it. Yeah, yeah, really good. Uh, without wanting to sound like a, an advert for one tigress and the stove was also made by them <laughs> i wanted a bigger stove to use in this tent um, and uh 
I just I decided on this one. It's it's a bit heavier um, than uh, some of the others available, the titanium ones and things, but it's um, it's less expensive and uh, it's certainly a lot more robust. Um, and you know, if you're already carrying heavy gear anyway, if you're traveling by car or by canoe or whatever, then um, you know, a few extra pounds on a on a robust stove isn't really going to make that much difference, I don't think. It's uh, much bigger than my other stoves, which is you know. A bonus not only for the amount of heat it kicks out, you can load more wood into it, it'll last longer or burn for longer um, through the night, but you've got a bigger cooking surface on the top as well, which is handy. Sausages are really hot, so I'm just gonna cut some up for Maggie here and just put them to one side to cool down a bit because she'll just scoff them down otherwise and burn her mouth because she's stupid. <laughs> she's not really. Maggie's had hers, they lasted all of about five seconds and uh, she's been chasing her bowl around the tent ever since. Um, I'm going to zing mine up with a bit of hot sauce from the One Food Company, Norfolk made hot sauce, tropical this one is. Not tried it yet, so we'll give that a whirl. You know me and hot sauce. Very nice, not too hot, but fruity. Just the job. Yeah, I am impressed with this tent. Um, one, one tigress sent this to me, um, but I had been looking at them. And when they offered to send me one, I jumped at the chance, to be honest. Um, I've wanted a bigger hot tent um, since having used their uh, Smoky Hut tent, which is also a brilliant tent. Um, yeah, and when they offered to send me one, I was like, yes, please. <laughs> um, it's just nice to have more space, you know? Um, you can make do in a small tent, but life is so much more enjoyable when you're out in the winter and it's muddy and it's and it's wet, having space. You can dry stuff, you can spread things out to dry, you can spread your gear out, you're not cramped in. And if it's uh, Maggie with me or even Tom, if I ever manage to drag him out camping with me again, um, you know, having the extra space is, um, is really useful. You know, you can stand up to get changed and things, you can easily sit and, and be comfortable and eat and do all the things you want to do if the weather is bad so yeah it's a good tent and uh, it's it's well made and um, I have no doubt that it would be plenty strong enough for anything that I would want to use it for with all these tie outs and guy points um, and just the shape of the tent you know yeah having the having the wood burner in here is brilliant um, I will just say it, it, it makes sense if you're using a wood burner um, in a tent to use a carbon monoxide detector just in case it's a fail safe I mean these tents are fairly fairly drafty they've got plenty of ventilation and things and and likely you're going to have the door the doors open certainly in this country just to let a bit of air flow through I don't tend to leave the wood burner running overnight I'll let it die out and I'll go to bed once it's just down to embers just to just to be sure but um yeah having a carbon monoxide detector is sensible for sure one tigress very kindly sent me a second rock fortress tent to give away to you guys um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, going to hold a draw. So if you are interested and, and want a chance at winning one of these, it's the tent, not for the stove, just the, the tent as it is, um, then uh, leave, a, leave a comment down below just saying I'm in. Um, and what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll use a, a random comment picker on my next video 
and um, and I'll pick a winner. That will be um, probably uh, in a couple of weeks' time. I'll give it a couple of weeks to run. Uh, that way, um, it, it, people stand more of a chance of seeing that there's a competition. Because I'm not going to put it in the thumbnail or in the description or anything. It'll just be a little a little secret one at the end. Speaking of comments, um, I've said this in previous videos, um, but I'll, I'll say it again just just for the benefit of those of you who are new to the channel. Um, I I work full time. Um, you know, I fit everything to do with YouTube in around work and family life and, and all the other things that we have to do in our homes, you know, um, all the normal chores and all the rest of it. Um, so responding to all of my comments is, is almost, well, it is impossible. You know, I get hundreds per video. I try and um, get to the first couple of hundred um, and, uh, and read them and respond to them. But after then, you know, I've just, time isn't there and I'm thinking about the next video and getting getting ready for that and things. So um, apologies, you know, if you have commented and I haven't responded, that is the reason. It's not because, um, you know, I, I can't be bothered or anything like that, I, I can, and your comments are really valuable to me. So please don't stop commenting. I do, you know, I do try and read as many as I can. Um, so, you know, if you, if you want, um, if you want me to respond to anything, or if you have a specific question, you're probably better off putting it in an email um, and my uh, details are down in the description box. If you click on the video title below the video, that'll expand into the description box and um, you'll find my contact details there and you could email me if you have a, a question or something. Um, then I'll, you know, I'll stand more of a chance of seeing it. Maggie and I are going to get things tidied up and packed away here before the next band of rain comes in. The sky's looking very dark over behind the camera there and that's the way the weather is coming. So it'd be nice to get these packed away before they get any wetter than they already are. I hope you've uh, enjoyed enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you're thinking about getting a hot tent for, for your winter camping, um, hopefully it's answered a few questions and given you an idea about this tent in particular. It's a good tent, it's well made, and um, I really like it. I'm certainly gonna be using it on future trips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.